What's up, guys? Uh, why is it talking through my phone? There is a really bad storm outside right now, so I might lose you guys. But in the event that that does happen, I will. I have the phone ready to go. It's charging, too, so that we can switch over and uh, stream from the phone. So I was trying to get them both on here at the same time. It doesn't like that, and it won't like orient my uh, picture correctly. So we're not going to do that. But we're going to try this as long as possible. If I lose power, I will switch over to the phone and hope that you all come back. But first off, I want to thank Dean, Dean over the Live Place, www.theliveplace.com, Dreamers Empire and the Live Place on YouTube. Make sure you check him out. He hosts our show as well as over 110 other shows. Also want to thank uh, my partner channels. Mouse Talk goes live tomorrow, Tuesdays at 8 o'clock. Goes live Saturdays with Sports Night with me at uh, 8 o'clock as well. Yeah, it's it literally just started hitting me. I'm a few minutes late because I wanted to try to get the phone set up and it's just not working. My other part of the channel is Rob Fuzz. He goes live on uh, Fridays at 4 o'clock. And then, of course, my brothers, the, the this and that crew, we go live Wednesdays at 9 o'clock. Shep goes live on Saturdays at 9.30. Zip goes live on Tuesdays at 6.30. However, Zip will be taking the day off tomorrow. There will not be a premiere or a live stream. Um, he's got a little bit of stuff going on. Wasn't able to get uh, one of his videos uploaded and ready. So he told me to let everybody know that he will uh, he will be taking the day off tomorrow. Uh, he will not have a video or a live stream. But he'll be back the following week, so make sure you check him out. And then Brandon and Dave go live whenever they want to. And uh, rightfully so. And then, of course, uh, uh, Disney Dan goes live with Disney Fiasco on Saturdays at 7 before uh, Walt and I. So this is a little not prepared. I don't like it. But anyways. Welcome in Mike 88 NYC, Donna Jaworski, Leanne Sherbick, Jersey Mike, Alex the Filmmaker, Julie McCowan, James Ryan, Make It Blue at Disney Adventure, uh, Donna Jaworski, Marguerite Negi, Disney's Adventures, Karki, welcome in Karki, uh, Avery, the, Avery the American, welcome in, Tina McNeil, DCS, going backwards tonight, guys, Gail Bonacarsi, welcome in, Angela Minter, Corner Sports, Kidani, Sean, uh, yeah, that storm is wicked. For sure. Dreamer Deborah, you are here. We are here. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm here for now. We'll see how long it lasts. We'll see. I don't know if you can hear that or not, but it is beating down on the windows. But uh, we'll, we'll, be, we'll go as long as we can, and then I'll have to switch over. Nick Gates, welcome in. Um, Elena K808, aloha. Welcome in. Andy J, welcome in. Thank you so much for being here. Rebecca Bell, uh, Jersey Mike, I think I said, but welcome in again. I don't like going backwards. It's not as easy. Andrew Bidding, Joy S, welcome in. Andy Coog, 86. Bill Steffen, welcome in as well. And Captain Akron, 27. Ooh, it bounced going the wrong way. Karen Cook, welcome in. And Karen, apparently I deleted some of your messages. That was completely by accident. Make sure I didn't. Nope. Somehow, Karen, I've deleted your messages. I apologize. I don't know why. <laughs> so I apologize. I it, It's not my normal self today because of everything that's going on. I was evidently playing on the phone and deleted your messages. Christine Hickman, welcome in. Thank you so much for being here. Eric Lee, what's up, buddy? Uh, Nick Gates, welcome in. Uh, I think I'm getting close to the top here. I don't like going backwards at all. G. Wilson, welcome in. For, for those of you that are starting to stream, don't go backwards. Samantha Lowe, welcome in as well. And that's the top. Back to the bottom again for anybody that knew that came in. Yeah, sorry, Karen. I don't know what happened. I, I'm hitting buttons. I'm playing Shep tonight. Marguerite Nagy, welcome in. Thank you for being here. Um, and if I missed anybody, which I'm sure I did, Katie Howe, welcome in. Thank you for being here. Deborah Doodles, thank you so much for being here. Pete McDevitt. Uh, <laughs> that is just – I don't know if you guys can hear that or not, but that is a lot of rain and wind. Nathan Rada, what's up, buddy? And – Guys, I think I got everybody. If I missed you, it is completely by coincidence tonight because of everything that's going on. But uh, thank you for being here. The Orlando guy, $20 Super Chat. Welcome in, Richard. Guys, and congratulations to Richard. Just hit 1,000 subscribers recently, buddy. Congratulations to you, and thank you so much for that uh, that Super Chat. I really do appreciate it. But, uh, yeah, everybody put hearts in the chat for uh, the Orlando guy for his, uh, his uh, awesome – Milestone. Disney Eve, welcome in. Thank you for being here. And if you guys haven't checked out the Orlando guy, make sure you go check out his stuff. He does some amazing work. He's got incredible editing skills and uh, as well as um, 
he uh, does some really good drone work and things. You, you need to go check him out. Team Marie Photography, welcome in. Thank you so much for being here. All right, guys. I missed you. I apologize. Tonight is Chat Choice. Pro Manhattan, welcome in. It's Joey's World. Thank you guys for being here. Dad, Resort TV One. Thank you so much for being here, Dad. And thank you, everybody. J uh, Jonathan Chong, welcome in. So, guys, first off, also, if you don't know, you got to know Dad, Resort TV One. You got to know Resort TV One. If you know me, you got to know them. Make sure you go uh, check them out. If you're not subscribed somehow, go check out Resort TV One. They go live on Fridays at 6 o'clock. And make sure you check out Corey Meets World as well Thursdays at 6 o'clock. Both are excellent streamers from the parks and outside the parks. Make sure you go check them out. Welcome in. Uh, I saw somebody. Where'd they go? Uh, Michelle the Quilter and Lady Jamers. Welcome in. Thank you guys for being here. All right, guys. So we got a big storm. Nothing I can do about that. If we lose uh, power, we will for sure, uh, go live on the, the phone. So make sure you hang with us. Want to show you guys a couple things real quick that I picked up. Obviously, I don't know if you guys can see it back here. This is what I did last night. I sat up all night and put together the wonderful uh, Disney Castle from Legos. So it took about eight hours and 20 minutes. I filmed it from three different angles. So that eight hours and 20 minutes includes the, uh, the time it took. <laughs> Sorry. I know I'm going to lose power at some point. Time. That uh, that time includes the uh, the time it took to change the batteries on three cameras all night long. Uh, Andy J. McP. McDevitt, do your questions for Steve have anything to do with Mama Mouse's huge crush on Valerie and Steve? That uh, that could be. There was a if you guys missed that last night. Pete McDevitt on his off the wall show had um, he had um, Myers and the Mouse on last night, and they were hysterical. Make sure you go check out that uh, that show from last night. You did in one night. I did it in eight hours, eight hours and 20 minutes. And that, like I said, that includes, uh, includes putting together all of the cameras step. I, I did it right here too. So I had to step around them all night and had to change batteries on all of them. Uh, I almost ran out of battery power and I got six batteries of one and 10 of another of one of my cameras. And then I have six GoPro ones. And I, I almost used every battery with continuously charging them. But Mom Resort TV One, welcome in, Mom and Dad both. Okay, so basically, guys, here is the castle. This is the book. That's what the castle looks like. It's pretty cool. It has it's this thick. It has seven WDW Dave. Welcome in. Thank you for being here. It has uh, 490 pages. The 758 steps is what it takes to get this thing done. 700. 58 steps. It's taking the bottom, top half and putting it on the bottom half. Mickey's Magic Meg, welcome in. Thank you for being here, guys. After this stream, as always, we're going to go check out Meg um, on her show. She follows me. Josh Triple P goes live before me. Pepper Tree Villa goes live at 10. Uh, it's a long Monday night, so you guys can have uh, plenty to watch. There's the box of the castle. You can barely see it. It has 4,080 pieces. Uh, rumor has it from a good friend of mine that this is going to be retired this year, so I'm really happy that I got it was able to pick it up. Andrea Houston, welcome in. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, Pete's show made me now a little scared to date. <laughs> yeah, Pete asked some, uh, some off-the-wall questions. It's what it's called off-the-wall. So, but Anyways, guys, tonight is about you guys and what you want to talk about and questions. If you have any questions, we'll talk about them too. While you're thinking of your questions and your topics that you'd like to talk about, I'll show you a couple more things. I picked up another Mandalorian puzzle. With Baby Yoda. Gary B, welcome in. Dat Mouse, welcome in. Thank you so much for being here. But picked up another puzzle here. Uh, I did go to the Lego store today to get another, the next one, which is the Steamboat Willie. Um, I had this one and it got confiscated by my niece so before I could put it together. So I got myself another Steamboat Willie to put together, which will be next. And then I also went by the Disney store. Um, and today I was talking to a friend and related that there are some people who instantly make you smile. And my, yes, Andrea Houston is definitely one of those, but I found this pin at the Disney store and it's, uh, I'm not sure what it is. If I'm being honest, it's a key, but it looks like a Peter Pan key almost, but there is the pin. It's just a picture of, if I can get it to focus, there you go. It's a picture of a D it's green. It's hard to see, but it's green with some leaves and some other things on it. So that is a pin that I picked up today at the Disney store. So awesome. Uh, Donna Jaworski, 999 uh, Super Chat says, I'm very impressed with your castle build, little brother, but question. 
Did you do it while wearing your ballerina costume? Love and miss you so much. I did not, Donna. Uh, sorry, sis. I did not wear the uh, the costume while I did it. Phil Campbell, welcome in. Thank you for being here. Appreciate it. Uh, but that's it, guys. Tonight's your guys' night. What do you guys want to talk about? Love that puzzle and the Steamboat Willie. Yes, it's awesome. Oh, and I got oh, – I don't know what I did with it. I think I showed it to you guys last week. Um, I bought some more stuff. The I thought I showed it to you last week. Maybe I didn't. But I had a, uh, I got a uh, Baby Yoda mug and a Baby Yoda wanted poster uh, puzzle. So they're really cool, too. That's what I'm going to do next, I think. So uh, let's see here. And I saw Andy said, are you going? Oops, where'd it go? Tim Pruitt, what's up, buddy? Glad you made it in, Bob. Thank you so much. And Tracy Glenn, Kenzie Days' dad, thank you guys so much for being here as well. Uh, where'd that question go? Heidi Cook, welcome in, Heidi. Are you going to hand paint the castle's white parts rose gold to match the newly repainted Magic Kingdom? So here's the, this question actually came up with some friends of mine because I, I thought about it. Zippity Doodad, welcome in, buddy. Thank you for being here. Again, guys, Zip will not be live tonight or tomorrow or with a premiere. He is taking the week off, um, but he will be back the following week. So make sure you uh, are ready on a week from tomorrow at 630 for Zippity Doodad. Uh, Mary, my my, welcome in. Thank you guys for being here. YouTube user, <laughs> welcome in. I have not been to Disneyland yet. I am supposed to go in uh, in October, but I don't know if I'm going to make it there or not this year. Michael Riley, welcome in, buddy. If you don't mind telling us how much for the castle, okay. So it's the most I've ever spent for a, a Lego at any any amount of money. And I said I would never spend this much money on a Lego. And when I walked in, I bought the Mandalorian uh combo brickhead set it was the mando and baby yoda they were um they were i was walking out and i saw this up on the shelf and I, they haven't had it they've been sold out everywhere forever you can't even get them online and i was walking by and i saw it and i said hey is that a display box she said no that's real and they only have one and i said when did you get that she said it just came in we just put it on the shelf i grabbed it just to hold on to it and there were two other people in the store that wanted it uh, as well and i went ahead and purchased it because it's it sells right now for even more, even if you've got it open and put together. But um, the cost at retail is $350. It's a lot of money for a Lego. I'm not going to lie. I contemplated it back and forth and back and forth. So, But it is really expensive, which leads me into the question I was going to talk about the castle because one of the things we, we talked about doing, if I had a pile of money laying around, would buy multiples of these things and paint them to all the castles that have been uh, in the previous years. So like the birthday cake castle, the new castle, the way it's painted, which is gorgeous by the way. Um, so that's what I, uh, that's what I thought about doing, but unless I win the lottery, that's not happening. You in the choke, <laughs> making s'mores with PJ in the choke. So zips, uh, zips, uh, um, phone started changing my name and he changes Nicole's name to the choke. So he just left it that way. All right. You got to get caught back up here. Sorry guys. Uh, we love you too, Zip. We love you too. I need to hear the background story on Ballerina. Steve, this has to be a story, right? It is a story. Uh, yeah, it's a story. So don't do it to lose value, Steve. Oh, I, I understand, Jonathan. And that's why if I was going to do it, I'd buy multiples just to keep them. It wouldn't be to get rid of them. Wendy B., thank you for being here. I'm sure you addressed it before. Tell me about the mural on your back wall. I love it. So I wanted a new setup, a new studio in here. It didn't quite, still hasn't quite what I want exactly yet. I actually was farther this way, so this whole thing was centered, but then I wanted this wall over here, so I hang my stuff up. And uh, But I, I found it on Amazon, and I really, really enjoyed it, and I wanted to have something unique and something different. I actually was looking at a like a wallpaper type that was uh, that was like Spaceship Earth. and But I got to talking to Corey from Corey Meets World, and he did that to his wall with, he was doing that to his wall with uh, a 3D, a real, actual, real projection thing. So I changed it, found this, absolutely loved it, and uh, set it up. So I like it. Hopefully everybody else does as well. Um, I'm sorry, guys. I lost track of everything tonight. I hate when I don't have a – I'm not in control with storms and everything else delaying my uh, progress. Uh, I wonder if – if that is why they are potentially discontinuing the castle, maybe they will have an update. They could, they possibly could. The Legos only last so long and then they retire them. So uh, sometimes they come out new versions, sometimes they don't. Uh, oops, it just jumped again. 
I know it's not a castle, but I'm stoked that I scored the Brer Bear plushie. Nice. Very nice. Oh, it was in a Disney subscription box. Wow, that's awesome. AJC Magic TV, uh, Amy, hello. Mary Kehoe, welcome in. Thank you for being here. All right, guys. So it, it's been jumping all over the part place. So if you've posted something, please repost it. I promise we'll get to it. But, uh, but yeah. So Valerie and Steve. Oh, Steve, have you ever been interested in working for Disney in any capacity? Absolutely, Heidi. It's actually a goal of mine. I have a... Uh, a very a plan to move very soon, hopefully, to to Disney or to Florida. And one of the things I would like to do is work for Disney in some capacity. Can you show us the Steambox Willie, Steamboat Willie box. Again? Yes, now we'll get to the Valerie and Steve. I promise. Here is the Steamboat Willie one. That is, uh, it came out a little while ago, several months ago. So, but this is the Steamboat Willie. And it just has some pictures on the back. It doesn't really show a whole lot else, but. Uh, Steve can stay up all night to build Legos and respond to your Instagram messages. <laughs> Thanks so much, James. I was up late. I was up till 3.45 this morning finishing that guy. My kids are there now, literally a paddlefish. Oh, wow, Wendy. So, Wendy, I was there uh, the week before last, and I will be there again in uh, less than a month. So it's uh, going to be – I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be awesome. Steve, what would be your dream job? Dream job at Disney is is Imagineering. I, I, I work in an engineering field somewhat um, in a construction industry, and I would love to be an Imagineer to design and uh, create things. I, I like creating things, and I like uh, I like envision, just envisioning my thoughts and seeing them come to life. So I would uh, love to be an Imagineer. Have you done any of the Lego Architect sets? I actually was at the store today and looked at all those. I did not pick any of them up. I have not done any of them yet, but I was looking at them uh, today to uh, possibly for future ones. Oh, thanks so much, Deborah. I really do appreciate that. Uh, so the Ballerina Steve came about as a kind of a last minute decision, believe it or not. Um, oh, thanks so much, Donna. I love you. Uh, the ballerina costume came about as part of a giveaway that we were doing. It was a loop giveaway where a lot of different channels participate. Um, and what it was, it was for Halloween. And uh, what, uh, what we did is we, you, you put it out and then everybody has to, all the viewers have to visit all the channels, subscribe to them. Like if it's a, it's a building, it's a way to build your, your audience and things across platform, your people. But um then the I'm seeing some of these questions I want to get to. Just give me a second. But then the so mine was I came to the last minute and they're like, hey, it's due tomorrow. I'm like, oh, what am I gonna do? So I pulled out the only Halloween costume I had, and it was a ballerina costume. And it's on my channel. It's back around Halloween. If you go back to October, you can find it. It's what started, and people loved it so much that I just kept doing it. And then I went to drive throughs to McDonald's in it, and then it just it steamrolled from there with. Um, with different costumes. That was the start of my costume career. And we haven't, I haven't done a new costume in a while. It's about time for one. Um, Steve, you've been awesome. Management. Thanks so much, Mike. I appreciate that, buddy. Uh, hey, Janie B, welcome in. Thank you so much. Uh, the castle was amazing. I put it together last night, actually. Uh, excellent painters pushing it, but thank you. Uh, what is your updated timeline for moving to Florida and has it moved up since your most recent visit? Uh, yes, it has, actually. Uh, it was originally a two year plan. It was originally a two-year plan to be spring of 2022. If I could get things lined up the correct way, I would move down there today. But I'm hoping to be down there by next spring. That's going to be my goal. And then hopefully I can stream from the parks and uh, and some home home streams and park streams Monday nights so that uh, you guys can share what I get to share. So um, I saw another question somewhere. I lost it. Again, if I miss it, it's not intentional, guys. Please just repost. Uh, P. McDevitt, 499, Super Chat. Steve's World Off the Wall version 2.0. Yep, that's going to happen. So I told Pete. Oh, there it is. I found Katie's <laughs> Katie's question. I found. I called Pete, and I talked to him, and I was like, you know, I answered all the questions. Didn't plead the fifth of any kind. They progressively, I was sitting here last night thinking about them. They progressively, progressively have gotten a little more difficult. And so I told him that I wanted to be his uh, first repeat guest to go for the chance to continue maybe hopefully answering all the questions, depending on what Pete comes up with. So Ryan McDowell, what's up, brother? Thank you so much. No worries, man. Sushi. I mean, the sushi is the only thing wrong with that. But other than that, it's great. Great job, buddy. Katie House says, what do you like about The Rock? 
the fact that uh, he's not here. That's what I like about him. <laughs> so, yes, now Ballerina Steve is an epic part of our family. Thank you so much, Deborah. Uh, road trip to Steve's after he moves. Absolutely, Leanne. Absolutely. drive throughs in costume was hysterical. So that, that happens usually on Chef's channel. I try not to do that on my channel, uh, even though it's fun. Uh, I don't know. Mine's, I try to be a little more, I don't know what the word is, to the point. Have, I like to have fun, but give, you know, provide stuff. The other show that we do is, is more about the fun and off the wall crap. So, but I like this. I like what, it, what we do here. We'll see. Maybe, maybe we'll see. I mean, I have over a hundred people here watching me talk about nothing. So you guys are amazing. I love each and every one of you. Uh, Sorry, I'm getting caught up here. But yes, if I get a house down there, I'm going to get visitors all the time for sure. Plus, it'll help people. Kay Atwood, welcome in. Thank you for being here. <laughs> yes, not gone to the library since. Yeah, there was a that was an interesting first uh, first one. But I I told him I wasn't going to be not going to. I'm going to answer every question is what I told him, and I did. I answered every single one of them. Didn't plead the fifth. Didn't skirt any questions. Just did it. Uh, Ruby Laws, it is. You're in the chat. I'm live talking to you guys, uh, but we are we are tonight's episode is just getting to know you guys a little bit better. You guys get to talk about and pick the topics, ask the questions, and go forward. And usually, we we do something usually related to Disney in the form of uh, information or rides or something. But tonight uh, tonight is just chat choice. Do you have any unique and exciting plans for a Halloween collab stream with Mickey's Magic? Uh, Meg is amazing and I would do anything she asked me to do with her. She's, uh, you know, she's got me back into painting and, and other things. She's extremely talented. So I would be more than happy to, if she wanted to do something. Still have nightmares about the costume. If you are creeped out by wearing, <laughs> then you're a keeper. <laughs> uh, thanks Mike. Uh, oh, think of the party we could all have at Steve's place near Disney. Absolutely. Steve, do you have a dog? I thought I heard one shake. I do. Tatum. Come on. Come on. You calling over here any other time. Oh, come here. Here is my doggie. Look at that. There. This is my this is my little guy. So he's not doing too well up here, but put him back down. Now he'll jump back up though. Oops. But that is my dog. No repeats. Instead, let's have Queen Steve or Ballerina Steve show up. That could be too. That could be too. Uh, how exciting, Steve! Looking to be a Florida resident. Yes, I am. I'm super stoked. It's gonna be. It's gonna be amazing. Do you have any? Oh, I already did that one. Wow, my dog must have scrolled my uh, this thing way up. Besides Epcot, have you traveled outside of the country? I took a cruise, which I don't know if it counts as uh, outside of the country, but. Uh, we, I, I went up in the Bahamas, but uh, it, that is as far as I've gone. I've not actually traveled outside of the country so much. I want to, especially Germany. Germany is my bucket list country I want to go to. Whose foot gets sacrificed with the Legos? There's always someone in the household wherever there's Legos. So I am very meticulous about the Legos. And like even my spare parts as I'm doing them go into a bag. So no Legos on my floor. What's your favorite thing to cook? And would you do a cook off ever with me? Donna, I will do a cook off with anything with you. And uh, favorite thing to cook. Mm, there's a lot. Garlic Cheerios tops list. And they're good. Don't knock them till you try them. But uh, I would cook anything Donna, with you. See, what's your favorite country song? Uh, none of them. Arjons, what's up, buddy? Thank you for being here. Uh, I I don't know you, but I'm coming to your house. I'll leave my kids at home, but I'm bringing my husband. No worries. It's going to be a party. <laughs> Donna, we should cook Disney recipes. I've got, I have like over 800 Disney recipes that we should try to cook. Ray J, what's up, buddy? Thank you for being here. Wish it would rain, maybe cool it off. Oh, we have got, it's done more than rain here. It's been ridiculous here james the bahamas count technically i agree but i didn't need a passport for that because if you leave the country on a cruise ship and come back to the same port 
you don't even need a passport. So I want, I, I don't know. I'm guess I'm considering that you need a pass. I want travel with passport that I have to get it stamped to be able to leave the country. Hit me up on Germany tips when you need. Husband is German. Oh, nice. I yeah, I studied German for eight years. That's why I want to go uh, over there so much. But that yeah, I definitely will do that if I ever get the chance to go. Uh, my dog. Oh, yes, my dog will eat anything. Really, he he's he he. <laughs> I had put a, a puzzle together that Donna got me of the Baby Yoda and the Mandalorian, and my dog apparently one of the puzzle pieces was on the edge. He got up on the counter, didn't I didn't even know it, grabbed it, took it in the living room and chewed it up. So they were offering Disney River cruises. That's awesome. Deborah Doodles, I'd love to see me and Donna do a cook-off. I would do a cook-off with Donna anytime. I'm not gonna say I'm gonna win. I love to cook though. Almost went to um, I almost went to culinary school, backed out of it. Uh, but uh, it, I love to cook. So any I'm down for that whenever. What area around Disney would you prefer to move to? It seems like a nice area. So I used to live in Davenport, believe it or not. I was I was less than three miles from the parks, I think. So I, I used to live in Davenport. I'm familiar with that area. Uh, depend if, if money's not an object, then like Golden Oaks area, that sounds really good. Uh, but there's some, there's some really nice neighborhoods, probably on the north side, north or east is where I'm going to wind up. Uh, but there's some good, there's good neighborhoods around. And I, like I said, I used to live in Davenport. I was pretty happy with it. What is your favorite Mexican food? Tacos. I love tacos. They are amazing. Your dog is beautiful. What is his name? My dog's name is uh, Tatum. And thank you for that. My nieces, uh, before I thought this through said, um, I said they could name him and he is named Tatum after Channing Tatum. So it's just a little weird when I stand on the back porch and scream for Tatum. So outside of that, it's all right. Uh, you need a passport on a cruise now, especially if there's a medical emergency. Oh, uh, it still says on the website that you don't, if you're leaving the port that you're coming into, because I looked it up, Shep and I had this discussion three weeks ago, I think it was. And uh, it still says you don't need one if you're leaving. If It's called port of um, a closed, closed loop port or something like that is what it's called. So Isaac Nail, welcome in, buddy. I can see them changing that they haven't done it yet already, though. Tori Camello, welcome in. Thank you guys for being here. His name is Tatum. Uh, his name, yeah, exactly, Leanne. Exactly. You should try Adventures by Disney if you ever want to travel abroad. I did not know that thing was a thing, Ray J. I'm going to write that down. I've heard of that, but I thought it was like uh, local. I didn't know it was international. <clears throat> uh, you make strawberry soup. Yes. Oops. This thing is jumping so fast. Hoping your family isn't too upset about you moving. After all, they will. They're, oh, they're trying to. My family wants to come with me. They just can't do it for like four years. So we're in debate. We're in debate about that. My niece wants to. My niece lives with my grandparents, and she wants to finish school here. And then uh, that's the reason why she's she's got four or five more years left. So that's why we got to wait for three or four years left. Three or four. Uh. Yeah, I still don't have a passport. I want one, though. Way to go, Steve. You went and moved. Good job. <laughs> All right. Uh, go look under DVC site for Travels Abroad. I will definitely. I'm a DVC member, so that would be awesome. Celebrations, Heidi, celebrations are really at the top of my list, too. Um, I, I love driving through South Celebration. It's, it's, a, it's like Disney's own city. Basically, my mom, when she went there, when we were down there once, she went through the uh, Disney rash. And it's, I guess, when the sun heats off the ground, hits their legs, they can break out. And so we took her to the hospital over in celebration. It's a, it's gorgeous over there. Uh, there is Adventure by Disney Expeditions. It can be paired with a Disney Cruise, if you like. Oh, nice. I thought about doing the whole Disney Cruise and then coming into Disney World. But I, I think I would want to just take a long cruise and focus on the cruise and come back. And then some other time go to Disney World um, because I, I just want to – I want that long experience. I like going for anywhere from around seven nights is what I usually like to cruise. You get to see so many different things that way, especially if you're on one of the big ships. What feeling did you get from the parks on your visit? Absolutely, That's a great question. So uh, I went to the parks with 
completely open-minded. I want to know what it was like. I wanted to know how I felt, all that good stuff. And um, I'm going to be 100% honest with you. I felt safer in Disney than I do in my own city. They went over and above everything that they needed to do. Every time you get on a ride, you, there's so much sanitizer, so much sanitizing, so much sanitizer. It's incredible. I go to Walmart here and I don't get any of that. And I, uh, some stores you don't even have to wear a mask or anything. So I felt 100% way safer at Disney than I do here. So parks were dead. I mean, you could walk on anything you wanted to walk on to. Um, it was, you know, if, the, if it wasn't a pandemic going on, it would have been uh, absolute best time to ever go to Disney. Uh, the mask does get hot as you go because you have to wear it nonstop. And Disney, they've got people positioned around just to make sure that you're wearing your mask. And it used to be you you could take it off and drink as you walked or whatever. They won't let you do anymore. you got to be stationary. So even if you let it slip, even if it falls off your nose, they make you put it back on. So uh, what is your – which Disney park is your favorite? Uh, Animal Kingdom, 100%. I love Animal Kingdom. Animal Kingdom has uh, – I love animals. It's just, it's just authentic. It's got one of my favorite rides in Flight of Passage. It's also got uh, Expedition Everest. Uh, the, the whole av land of Avatar is gorgeous. I, I really do hope they change Dino Land because it's not doing it for me. So I could, I'd love it if they did Zootopia. But from what I understand, um, they won't let Zootopia go in there because Walt had a thing about animals walking around in clothes. But then Mickey Mouse has clothes. So I don't, I don't understand all that. But uh, if you ever went want to see Germany, take a Danube or Rhine River cruise. Oh, nice. I didn't know Disney offered that. Cool. I'll definitely have to check it out. So now that you're ranked the Poly number one in Kidani Village number two, what would be number three for your WDW resorts? So going off on it, I mean, I love Pop Century. It's absolutely central, right in the middle of Disney or of, uh, of Disney World. You can get there from the Skyliner can take you now to Epcot and Hollywood Studios. Uh, it's about equal distance between Magic Kingdom and Animal Kingdom, which is usually a problem. The only problem is it's always packed. I always get a preferred pool room so that I'm sitting right there by the front desk. But I love Pop Century. It's just for location purposes. Uh, for theming, I love uh, love the Poly. I absolutely love Animal Kingdom Lodge. Um, I'm actually going to try out Boardwalk here coming up, and I'm trying out uh, uh, Saratoga Springs. Never been to either one of those. I've been to the, I've been by the Boardwalk. It looks cool, cool. But so I'm going to try those out. Never been there. But I love those two. I've stayed at Caribbean Beach. Love the theming at Caribbean Beach, except it's just some of these resorts are so wide that if you need to get back to the main building, it's gonna be it's gonna be hard to get up there. It's gonna be a walk. So I, I look at all those factors, especially if I take my parents with me, as to what I like, where I like to stay. Um, believe it or not, Grand Floridian is is okay. It's not some place I would choose to stay all the time. Not when I can choose the poly for the same price or anything like that. So, but I'd have to say that uh, <coughs> pop century is probably number three for me just because I've stayed there so much, but I do like, I uh, like pretty much them all. Oh, and Fort wilderness is, is, is pretty awesome too. <clears throat> um, it's great to hear. I, I, yeah, it was extremely safe. I felt safe. Like I said, I felt safer in Disney even going to restaurants outside of Disney down there, they take your temperature. You get temperature checks. Um, it's it's awesome. It's awesome. Oh, it just jumped again on me. Okay. Uh, I go up a half a dozen times just for that. Hubby gives me the hairy head. But when I keep going up, where are you, where are you going up, Leanne? Sorry, it jumped and I missed some of the conversation. We did the Rhine. Oh, you did the Rhine on Viking. Nice. Yes, guys. Yeah, please. Uh, everybody's welcome. Please just do not promote uh, other things on here. Can't wait to go to Boardwalk. We love Old Key West. Grand Floridian is is great with little kids because of the monorail. So that is that is something that will factor into the Grand Floridian is the accessibility uh, the, the negative I have with the, the contemporary poly and the Grand Floridian is the fact that they're all the way up next to Magic Kingdom. Now, that's great for Magic Kingdom, but it's so far away from everything else. Now, the one positive to that is you go to the Ticket Transportation Center, take a long monorail over to Epcot, and that gets you to Epcot, near Epcot, and, and possibly Hollywood Studios. But 
if you want to go, I, I like staying central because it's it's equal distant from top to bottom, which is where the longest trek is. But it, it can take you if you're on buses, it can take you a half hour to forty five minutes to be able to get from Animal Kingdom up to like the All Star Resorts. I, I do not like the All Star Resorts. I used to love them. Theming is incredible. Worst hotel to possibly stay in for transportation, and uh, it just takes so long. It takes so long to get a bus there, then it takes so long to get it all the way back up to Magic Kingdom. Um, oops, 1900 Park Fair in the Strawberry Soup. Jace just rolls his eyes at me because I'm going to get more at all the time. So I don't, uh, I don't care too much for 1900 Park Fair, believe it or not. It's a great restaurant, but it's like very common. All that food to me, it's it's the same buffet as everywhere. Chef Mickey, they may have one or two different items. Chef Mickey's is the way, the Crystal Palace, 1900 Park Fair, they're all the exact same to me, except for the characters. So that's I'm not a huge fan of that. Did you hear they reduced the park hours next month? I did. But, you, you know, I don't have a problem with that. And let me tell you why. Because I was just there. For somebody like me, yeah, it affects me because I like going from opening to close. But as the day went on, because you're limiting – Normally, you get a lot of people that come in the morning. They leave. More people come in around noon. They leave. More people come in around the evening. You can't do that anymore because of the park hopping. You now have to. It's you're you're there for the whole stay. You can you can't go to any other park. These people are getting tired and they're leaving, and then there's nobody in the park whatsoever. So, from a business standpoint, I've got zero problem with Disney wanting to close them early, just because it's not worth it for them to keep them open. They're paying. They they've got so many cast members in there. And the crowd just doesn't justify it. So, um, I'm, but I'm okay with that because I'm also okay with them keeping them reduced for now. Mike Wheeler, welcome in, buddy. No worries. You got your Wi-Fi back. That's awesome. We just had a big storm come through. I wasn't sure if we were going to be able to do it or not. Stayed at the Dolphin. Location was amazing at the quarter of the price. Yeah, Dolphin's pretty nice. You can get some really cool. I was strictly against. I still don't like it, but I'm strict. I was strictly against staying off property. Um, but the more I do it. It, it's way cheaper and I run a car anyway, so it doesn't affect me as much, but you do lose a little bit of the magic. Um, but you know, there's some really good resorts down there that are very, very inexpensive. Only issue with boardwalk right now is that none of the restaurants are open. Oh wait, there's not any restaurant in the resort. You have to go all the way to the bakery for quick service. Oh, that is terrible. That's, they got so much right there though. They, you think they could just put something in there real quick. So yeah, I also love the French toast and Boma. Oh, Boma's. Boma's is absolutely incredible. It's the best breakfast on property, in my opinion. Uh, you you can get some really unique things that are African inspired, and you get. I mean, the, the food is just great. They I think they call they have the juice, and I can't remember what it's called, but they from top to bottom, that restaurant is amazing. Not only for for breakfast, but also for dinner and lunch, if they serve lunch, but whatever it is. But they they that that is an incredible restaurant. I highly recommend Bomas for anybody that's going. I'm going back on the 20th, but in July, it seemed like it was very quiet after 4 p.m. Yeah. So much, very much so, James. After 4 p.m., park dies. There's not, not hardly anybody in there. So I, like I said, I don't really have a problem with them backing it off. Did you ever Disney bound? And if so, what character? And thanks to Mickey's Magic, now that I know what Disney bounding is. So I, I still don't know what Disney bounding is. It's, I know you dress up and act like your favorite character. To me, that's like putting on a costume. Um, but I have been, I have, I've never Disney bounded in Disney, but I have been in costume as Disney characters before. So I don't know if that answers the question or not properly. Oops. What is your favorite restaurant at WDW? Hope this isn't a repeat question. It's not, and it's Le Cellier. Um, if, if taking all things out, Le Cellier is easily the best. And the Dolphin is a deluxe hotel at moderate prices. That's awesome. I've never been there. I need to stay at the Dolphin in the Swan. Uh, I actually just stayed, which most of you know, I stayed at the uh, Kidani Village at Animal Kingdom Lodge and sat on the balcony every morning watching animals graze. And they were, and it's not just like one or two animals. There are a lot, a lot of animals out there constantly. If you rent a car, would it be worth it to stay at an all-star especially if you have limited money. So I say yes. Um, All-Stars is going to be your best value, 100%. If, if you're going to stay on property and rent a car, I would say All-Stars. 
if if you don't care about necessarily staying at All Stars, I would stay off property at one of the ones down Hotel Plaza Boulevard. There's a the Radisson is really good, and the Delta. I've stayed at both of those. I actually got the Delta for fifty nine dollars a night. It was a special, but they all those all around me between a hundred, you know, eighty nine to one hundred and twenty dollars a night usually, way cheaper than even All Stars, and it's centralized. So if you don't mind the hotel experience not being Disney, and you're going to take that car anyways, I would recommend staying on Hotel Plaza Boulevard somewhere. And uh, renting the car. I rent a car every time I go. So I'm confused. Are you the person who made Disney? Am I the person who made Disney? I'm not. But I did go to Disney. I just got back from Disney. Um, what meant? Which is your favorite restaurant? Oh, I think I, I think that's what I got, Deborah. Do you? Oops, Heidi's question just disappeared. Where'd it go? Do do do. Do you like? The putt putt course is Disney. Oh my gosh! So the fairways, the fairways at Disney, uh, if, if it, it's the hardest putt putt course in the world. Like it's, I'm not making that. I'm not just saying that. It's the hardest putt putt course in the world. I think it's a par 72, which is like a real course, and they have sand traps and water. I've played it several times now. Absolutely love it. Um, I'm gonna play it again here in a few weeks. It's uh, it's really incredible. Really, really, really incredible. Love it. I thought it was called Jumbo Juice, but I wasn't 100 percent sure. It's a mixture of like a passion fruit, guava, and papaya, I think, and it's great. How many WWE events have you been to? Too many to count. Uh, it's probably 15. It's an awesome amount of time. We usually go for 10 days. Yeah, 10. I, use, I like 10-day vacations, but I like going more, so I'm going to try to cut those down to about four-day vacations go more often. Timothy Rainwaters, what's up, buddy? Did you ever eat at the buffet – until you're stuffed, the waiter comes by and asks anything else. <laughs> you slap your belly and say, I'm good. I have eaten that much, but never slap my belly and say, I'm good. Disney Bounding is just wearing an outfit in the same color as your character. Oh, no, never done that. I don't think, not intentionally. Uh, do you think the changes that were implemented, park reservations, limited hours, et cetera, will stay in the future? I do, G, uh, G. Wilson. At least till a lot of these reservations are uh, – rules and regulations are going to stay in place till September of 2021. They've actually canceled all the fast passes until then. You can't get fast passes until then. October is kind of when the, the real 50th anniversary is going to happen. And they kind of want to make sure that it's up, but the crowds will get bigger, but I don't, they may extend the park hours a little bit once more people start going, but I don't think uh, a lot of the other stuff will change. And I don't look for park reservations to go away anytime soon. Uh, I think that's here for quite a while. Um, yeah, Animal King Lodge is just awesome, Donna. And it just jumped on me. If you guys, if I missed your, it's, oh, it's passion fruit, orange juice, and guava. Okay. So I was close. I was only one off. Donna is correct. Oh, it's called jungle juice. It's either jungle juice or jumbo juice. Yeah, Tatum is circling me. He's got his. He's got three. He's got two tennis balls and a, a little squishy ball. He's got them all in here. Like I'm gonna stop what I'm doing to, to play with him. Uh, thanks so much, Mike. I appreciate it, buddy. We guys, we got about 15 minutes before we're gonna head over to uh, Meg's channel. So <laughs> he's like a shark fin, a little tail going in the background. Um. We have about 15 minutes, so we're going to go over and say hi to Meg. So if anybody has any last questions or topics that you guys want to talk about or questions concerning my trips or questions in general, i uh, be happy to take those. Both juice names are correct. Different restaurants use different names. Oh, okay, Karen. Thank you. Love that beagle tail. Yeah. He's like a like, – like Ryan said, it's like a shark fin. Just, you know, he's going to jump. It had a PJ party in a hotel room. <laughs> What other YouTubers did you meet on your visit? So this last visit, I met James Ryan, uh, Karen Cook. I've met her in the past, but I met Karen. I Every time I go, I usually hang out with Resort TV One and Corey from Corey Meets World. So I, I met up with those. Dale, of course. Um, and what else? I Walt from Mouse Talk, of course. He lives down there. I'm trying to remember my trip. Oh, Epcot Bob. I got to see Epcot Bob. Uh, Timothy, I'm going in less than a month. So, uh, planning on going in less than a month, unless something changes, but, uh, 
I'll be there. Do you build Lego Star Wars sets? Absolutely, Karki. I do. Uh, they're all in the other room, but I do build some of the, the Lego Star Wars sets for sure. Uh, Tim, are you going? Are you leaving August 20th? Are you going? Top three resorts and restaurants on property. Top three resorts uh, is Polynesian and Animal Kingdom Lodge. And I'm going to throw Pop Century in there as the third. And my top three restaurants are uh, Le Cellier. And I'm going to go with Boma. And I'll tell you, Corey and I ate at a place at just this last trip. I fell in love with it. I'm going to go back there again. And that's Art Smith's Homecoming. Didn't think I would like it as well as I did. The chicken was absolutely incredible. I asked for boneless chicken breast and they brought them to me. It was incredible. Really, really incredible. Their green beans are really good too. Uh, first time we went to Boma, they asked if we wanted their special juice. We were excited. And then when we tasted it, it was like, it's, it's, fun, which is the drink. Oh, you, you got, yeah, it's a drink in Hawaii. That's all it is. <laughs> so, uh, what is August 20th? Tim Pru. Oh, no, I'd be in a wheelchair. I thought you were. No, I, Tim, originally I was supposed to be there on August 20th. Um, not, not going that time now. But I moved it a little bit to some different days. Timothy Rainwaters will be there in 60 days. Nice. Where is Art Smith's homecoming? Heidi, it is downtown, or not downtown Disney, Disney Springs. It is over by, um, you. You if you're heading from Market Play, Old Marketplace past the shops, and you go to the Paddlefish on your left, you hang a, your, uh, Paddlefish on your right, you hang a left, and it's back there. It's incredible. Absolutely incredible. I would highly recommend going. You have a, oh yeah, Art Smith's is pretty good. If you've never eaten there, I was blown away. And I mean, we we had a bunch of different things, and I would Corey made me try a bunch of things, which was part of my agreement. Every time I go now, I'm just, he's gonna as long as it's not seafood, I'll try it. He had me eat a deviled egg that did not go well. Uh, it took about five minutes to even put it in my mouth, and then on top of that, it took ooh, it took everything to keep it from coming back up. I did not like it at all. But I did try collard greens for the first time. I thought were really incredible. I also tried. Uh, Brussels sprouts were really, really good. The mac and cheese there is phenomenal. Uh, it, that place is really good. Really good. You and the dis and that guys need to go see you. Bob. So that's on my schedule too. Uh, when Bob's allowed to come back, he's not back yet. So I, I actually, I watched you Bob for the first time on Corey's stream. Then Corey did an interview with him and I've been, I've had not reservations. I had plans to go see him twice now before everything happened. And, uh, it was, uh, I, I plan on being back for sure. I plan to go see him as soon as he gets back. You got to have chill vinegar on the greens. You have vinegar. I don't know. Look, yeah, Janie, I know I'm not trying to make anybody hungry, but I'm on a diet, so I'm really not trying to do that. But, uh, the Corey has opened up my palate a lot and it, I like it. Yeah. I've never had Brussels sprouts. <laughs> they, don't, they don't look good. I didn't even want to try them. They're actually surprising. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm not, they, I like those, but the collard greens, I think, were the, they were uh, actually kind of sweet. I really like them. Uh, are you a coffee drinker? Absolutely not, Ray J. I hate coffee with a passion. It's gross. <laughs> you can make some collards up from the South. So that's that's what Art Smith's homecoming is. It's Southern food. And that's why it was, it was great. Have you been drinking your water? I have been drinking water. Um, I've not been drinking as much, but I found – I threw the bottle away already – um, I found some stuff to supplement that that is uh, zero calorie and zero sugar stuff. There's a, It's like vitamin water, except it's made by Costco. And then I've got uh, some uh, – I got that and something else that's also zero calorie. So it's really good and, and no sugar. What food are you looking forward to the next time down? So I am planning to go to um, – well, oh, one of the other places I got to eat recently too was Sanaa. Even though it was it, it was kind of weird, but we had got to eat the bread service, and, and that place is phenomenal too. That bread service, out of this world good. The naan bread, we got a lot of the garlic naan. Uh, it was really good. But one of the places I, I really want to eat going down the next time is uh, I'm eating at uh, – oh, man, I can't even think of what it's called. It's I, I want to try the, uh, the the sports one. The I can't remember what it's called. Something about – the tur green turt. I don't know what it's called. I want to try that. I want to try um, the Yacht Club. I've never eaten there. 
and the boathouse. I've never eaten there, so I want to try those. I cannot remember what the – I think it's called the Turf Club. Maybe it's just called the Turf Club. I can't remember. But, uh, oh, yes, Donna. Donna brought that. That was incredible. So we also went – for Donna's birthday, we went to uh, Kobe Steakhouse. It's a Japanese steakhouse. It's a hibachi grill. I've never been to a hibachi grill, believe it or not. Never been to a hibachi grill. So the Turf Club, yes, Leanne, that's it, I think. So we went to the hibachi grill, and it was fantastic. Out of this world good. I, I was so excited. I was so excited. Got a filet. You pick your meat, and then they break all this other stuff. Th that was an incredible place, the Kobe Steakhouse. It's in uh, Kissimmee. So I would highly recommend you get to go there. You can make a collard dip with cream cheese and parm. <sighs> I uh, don't like cream cheese. Don't know why. So, yeah, the Philly crew will be uh, in Disney very shortly as well. When I say very shortly, if you're going this year, you're going very shortly. Is it like Tepanito? I think from what I heard, it's like Tepanito. Uh, I'm not 100% sure, but I think it is. You ought to check out a video done by a Disney family about packing for your trip from Massachusetts. <laughs> it was you. <laughs> yes, if you guys missed it, the uh, Dufilly crew put out a video about uh, how to pack, what to pack. So check that out. No coffee, no cream cheese. Nope, sorry. And I get like four hours of sleep a night. I do it with zero energy drinks and zero coffee, if you can believe that. So I've been doing it since high school. Uh, my body's pretty uh, accustomed to it. I just, I don't, I, I can't, I can't even eat jelly belly jelly beans that are taste like coffee or mocha. It makes me not, it makes me nauseous. Do not like it. Yeah, the food over at Teppanito, you got so much food. It was, it was the best, one of the best values, maybe the best value for food that I've ever had in Florida. It was, it was really good. The rice, and they put, they put something on the rice. I don't even know what it is, but it's. I think it's like soy sauce or I don't know. It was really, really good. So no coffee, cream cheese, eggs. That is, <laughs> we have to break up now. <laughs> don't like any of those. The eggs make me sick and seafood. Cannot do seafood. It makes me real sick. So, but it, it's, uh, it's pretty cool. Brussels sprouts, jelly beans. Ooh, I'm not sure I'd like that. But of course, you, if you play that bamboozled game, there's some really nasty stuff in there. It was soy sauce and Coca-Cola. That's what that was. It would have been better if it was soy sauce and Pepsi, but I'll take it. It was good. Yes, have a very safe trip, do Philly crew. Guys, it is 8.54. If you have any last-minute uh, discussions, please let me know. Perhaps it was the Dinner Companions, but I really like the Boathouse in Disney Springs. I, that's one of the places I really want to go, I, and yeah, I've just not I've not had the chance to make everything work yet. Yeah, the rice is loaded with butter, and the guy, our guy, was extremely funny, like really, really, really funny. Uh, it was it was pretty good. Have you taken Corey to boat rides, and was he intrigued? Donna, have you taken Corey to boat rides? OG food Steve doesn't like. <laughs> uh, there's a lot of foods I don't like. Hey, Michael. How you doing, buddy? I oh, love you 3,000 too, Leanne. You guys are awesome. And Leanne was just in Indianapolis. Leanne, uh, I had a family thing. I don't know what day you actually left, but uh, I had a uh, family hog roast for my parents' anniversary. Parents celebrated their 42nd anniversary. It's a long time. Yes, James. See, what is what Harry Potter movie was your favorite? Oh, which one was my favorite? I loved Prisoner of Azkaban. Uh, Barry Waters, welcome in. Yeah, mint, mint. I love tea. Absolutely love tea. I'm not a I'm not a fan of coffee. Um, I love Prisoner of Azkaban. Uh, hmm. That's probably my favorite. Probably I, I like Prisoner of Azkaban. It was it was pretty intriguing. Have you done be our guest in Magic Kingdom? I have, Dat Mouse. So I did be our guest. They were, in my opinion, they've completely ruined be our guest. It was incredible as a regular restaurant. 
with uh, the dinner options were fantastic. I, lunch there is phenomenal. It's totally separate. You go in and get like a, a shaved steak sandwich or, or like with al jus dipping sauce and and, and it, it's really, really good. The I had the dinner was okay. I love the steak. The pork chop was okay. But but you go in now and it's a prefix menu. I hate those menus because I am such a picky eater and I don't like a lot of things. So when you go sit down, just like over at Artist Point over at uh, the Wilderness, you go in, you have limited number of options to pick from for your appetizers. I mean, you're, they're going to bring them. You're going to eat them. I don't eat that stuff. It's just going to go to waste. The only thing that's even on the menu that I would eat over at um, – at uh, Artist Point is the um, is the uh, prime rib, and it would have to be it would have to be cooked more. I don't like it rare. So, yes, I like you, Ryan. You're you're a good dude. Uh, we'll be there on Labor Day weekend, but I think you're going to be gone. That is that is up in the maybe. We'll we'll talk, Leanne. If you'd want to be a Disney movie, what would it be and why? What movie would I want to be in? Probably Big Hero 6. Uh, I think it's an extremely underrated movie, and I would just like to be there to uh, help Hero uh, get through his issues in life. Thanks so much, James. But, guys, we have two minutes left. Um, there it is. Do you have a favorite Disney character? Uh, my favorite Disney villain is Dr. Facilier. Um, I love a lot of characters. Uh, oh, Flynn Rider is my is my favorite good guy. Good, questionable guy. So Flynn Rider and uh, Dr. Facilier are my favorites. Yeah, Mary, he, his coffee is gross. I don't like it. <clears throat> so... <laughs> what ride would you want to live on? What ride would I want to live in? Oh man, right now it's got to be Rise of Resistance. It, I love that ride so much. It has so much ride technology. But honestly, for aesthetic reasons, I'd probably pick Flight of Passage. Uh, just be able to walk through that the floating mountains, go outside and look outside and see the waterfalls and everything. That would be uh, that'd be a good one to live in. Thank you guys so much for all the kind words. But guys, we have one minute. We're gonna send everybody over to Meg if my mods could continue. Thank you, Noah, to post Meg's stream. She is uh, doing uh, Disney Halloween merchandise and uh, villains, ranking villains. So make sure that you uh, check her out. Yes, everybody love Ryan McDowell. One of the best dudes I know. He's awesome. Steve, you're growing, though, in terms of taste. I am, Mike. I am. I'm opening my palate. I still don't like things, but uh, I do enjoy uh, trying new things. So, guys, everybody head over to see Meg. Once again, still over 100 of you here. I love you guys so much. Cannot wait to do this for you each and every week, hopefully from the parks very soon. Uh, but I need ideas, guys. My email's in the link below. Give me ideas of what you guys want streams on. I, I want to try to bring more content that you guys want to see. Obviously, I try to put a little bit more of a professional touch on it. So if you, uh, yes, Rebecca, I did film it from three different camera angles. It's a lot of footage to go through. Uh, but yes, I will have a video out for that. But guys, thank you so much for being here. Love each and every one of you. Appreciate all the support. Head over and see Meg. Email me. My email is down below. If you guys want to chat, send me emails and uh, send me some, some uh, ideas. And Ryan McDowell, I have something for you, buddy, that I would like to do. So uh, I'll get with you later. But guys, love you all so much. Head over to Meg. See you next week. Bye. Oh, I got to hit that. Wait, I'm not ready for that. Now.